So welcome to Thin Muscle Workout, where we go from thin to fit, muscular, lean, having some dates there, a thin muscle workout dinner. Question is, Harley, do you think that doing Muay Thai will affect my anabolic muscle gains? I'm worried about doing Muay Thai, oh, it doesn't want to make me get lose the muscle. Well, here's the thing, you got to do the training, man. You have to train in Muay Thai. You have to train at least one of those hardcore martial arts. And people say, hey, you're a vegan and you're into non-violence and shit, but you train in Muay Thai, tell me that it could be violent. It's self-defense. I just got into a bit of a fight tonight, you can see my nose is a bit red. I just, I stopped actually, just, a cyclist got hit by a car, I stopped to, uh, to help out the situation. And I ended up, <laughs> ended up getting attacked by two guys at once, mate. During the night, I was battling two guys. King hits getting thrown and everything, mate. So... You need to learn martial arts skills. If I didn't have skills tonight, man, I would be fucked, man. I would be fucked. So you need to do years and years of martial arts training. That's just a given. So many of like the guys tonight didn't have a fucking fight. One of them is full steroided up, probably 120 kilos, mate. You know, steroided up. Plus some of those guys on YouTube, but he couldn't fight for fuck, man. So I'm like a 65 kilo marathon a weakling taking on two guys, man. But I've got skills to pay the bills, legit, on the daily, dice to the socks. Bottom line, man, seriously, you've got to learn how to fight. You've got to learn how to fight. I'm not telling people to start fights, but I'm telling you, you need to learn self-defense. So the question is, will Muay Thai affect my anabolic muscle gains? Maybe. But that doesn't matter, because you need to have muscles that can work versus inflated, you know, DECA muscles or whatever. You need to have fitness and using your body, man. You gotta know how to fight. Alright? You gotta know how to defend yourself and defend innocent people, like what I was into tonight. So that's what you gotta do, man. You gotta fight for good. I'm not saying get out there and have street fights, but if they start up, you gotta be able to know how to finish them. Alright? So will it affect your gains? Maybe. But it doesn't matter. Because what you're gonna gain from self confidence, that's that's fucking priceless, man. So train Muay Thai for years and years. Do some sort of full contact martial art. So maybe start with karate, but you need to evolve into the full contact. Wear headgear, stuff like that, but you need to do full contact sparring. Otherwise, you're not really going to know how to street fight, man. You might be able to do it points, karate tournaments, shit like that, but that's not the real world, man. The real world street fighting is fucking dirty grappling. It's fucking biting. It's eye gouging and shit like that. Yes, I've done eye gouging the people, and it has saved my life. I've been stabbed before, but if I didn't have the skills, man, that stab would have been a lot worse. Those fights have been a lot worse. So don't start fights, but know how to finish them. Know how to defend yourself from innocent people. I hope that helps.